Good morning. We're going to try and show you a little bit about the 12 volt tether system that we built for hot lapping our race car with a 16 volt system. There's been several posts about it on Yellow Bullet and I thought instead of taking a bunch of pictures and wiring diagrams I would just make a quick YouTube video and that way we could explain it a little bit better and you could actually see how it's uh, used. So the system is really simple. It just consists of a, a high quality outdoor extension cable for uh, no other uh, use and a standard old 12 volt battery. So when we're traveling, we have it unhooked just like this. We just use wing nuts. So I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is gonna hook it up. And put the wing nuts back on. That's pretty well what we do when we get to the track. So, what you have here is an extension cord and a little junction box it has two switches and inside has a fuse for each of those wires. What we did was we used the two wires for this terminal and this terminal, both will have hot, will have 12 volts positive. The ground lug here will be the ground return, so that we use those three wires. So now we're going to go over to the car and I'm going to show you how you hook it up. So after we make a pass, we get to, back to the trailer. The first thing we do is get out and cut the power off, then hook up the, the charger, the 16 volt charger, and start charging immediately. Since the cutoff, master cutoff, disconnects the battery, nothing else, no other terminals, nothing else in the car has voltage anymore. So that allows us to come over and plug up our extension cable. So now those two hot wires go to the terminal on the firewall. We're going to zoom in so you can see it. So that terminal right there, that pass-through, is where we pick up main power for the starter and for all the other devices on the front of the car, such as the fuel pump, the water pump, the fan for their relay boards. The ground terminal then just goes to a good solid chassis ground. So now we're going to come back to the junction box. And all we do is turn on both switches. Now we can go back to the main switches in the car and turn on any device that we need. And I'm going to show you now that we have power. So what you should see is the delay box is hot and the dash is hot. Those stay hot all the time. So if we were actually making a run, now we would turn the water pump and the fan back on and we would cool the car down. This also allows us if we want to make any changes to the delay box or to the ignition program or to the race pack we have power and we don't have to use the 16 volt battery. This really allows you the maximum amount of charging time on the battery. So when we're done and we're ready to go back just turn it off, we'll disconnect it and then we'll be able to turn the power switch of the car back on and have our 16 volts supplied back to the car for starting and running the actual next round. We chose a 14 gauge outdoor extension cable because it provides plenty of power for what we're going to do. But for some guys that may have even uh, larger fans or water pumps or more things they want to run, I would recommend getting an extension cord for 240 volt which will have four wires and use a twist lock connector. The next question we get is why did we put the female part of the extension cord on the car versus the male? That's actually a very good question. On this car, we also run an oil heater. So what I wanted to do was eliminate the possibility of one of my crew members accidentally plugging up 120 volts to all of the DC components in the car. I would recommend this for anybody that's going to make one of these or buy one of these that you do the same thing. Put the female part on the car, the male part has the power. Now that does mean that while you're transporting or between rounds, make sure that the box is off or disconnect while you're in transport, whatever's easiest for you. We leave a trickle charger on the battery all the time in the trailer and even at the race, and that keeps the battery well, well charged. No problems. I've never had a problem with this little battery 
taking care of us between rounds. So if you have any other questions, please email me at Sean, S-H-A-W-N, at G-A-S Racing, I-N-C, dot com, GasRacingInc.com. I will put a slide with our email address at the end of the video. We would be glad to make one of these for you. We just need to know if uh, three wires is fine, if 14 gauge is fine, if 25 foot is fine. We can make one up with the little box, the switches, the uh, fuses, everything for you. Send it out with instructions. Um, or we'd be happy to answer questions via email if you want to try and make one yourself. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day.